Kate, one yeah. more question for you. And this is probably, this is really important. On your bio for The Bachelor, you said that you went on a date with Harry Styles <laughs> and that you would, you would talk about it. Can you please tell us about your date with Harry Styles? And, and did you also, see him at Coachella? And how long ago was this? Yeah, we need to know everything. It did happen. There's like a like 20 minute version of the story I can tell, or there's like a like brief synopsis. I think I'll Give stick. It- well, let's let's go with like 10 minutes. Give us okay. the, in the middle. detail as Meet in yeah, the middle. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so I was an assistant at CAA. This was probably 2014. So One Direction okay. was still together. Um, okay. I was 24. I had like just moved here. I was like bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, and Harry, well, One Direction was a client and their agent gave Harry my number. He asked me first and I was like, yeah, sure. Harry who? And he was like, uh, Styles and Callie, you know, <laughs> who the agent was. Who I also was like, wait, you're hot too. Like you can also <laughs> use my number. <laughs> um, so we like texted a little bit. Um, he, you and Harry? Yes. About what? Was, it was so crazy. Like it was like a coming from like a Gmail. So I was like, Oh my God, like what to be oh like, <laughs> is this so it was like, like an iMessage, like literally Gmail I'm yeah. like, Oh my okay. God. And like being an assistant at DA, you're like out in the hallway with all the other assistants. So of course I was like pulling the masses because I was like, what do I say? Like, I want to be like, cute and coy, but like not like playing it too cool. Like I, I definitely am like, you know, I would take a bullet for this man. Like, well, you know, how do I convey this in like a funny, charming way? Um, so we like, you know, we're trying to make plans. He originally suggested lunch. I knew that, you know, lunch was like kind of a friend zone move. I also like, can't like get a drink at lunch. I'm an assistant. Like I also can't be gone for a long time. So I just like, made up a lie that was like, oh, I have a meeting at lunch, but like I could do dinner and like assistants at CA don't have meetings. Like I'm literally, I don't even have a name <laughs> on the email. It's like, you know, so-and-so's assistant. So I was just like totally riffing, but I wanted it to be like a, a later in the evening version sure, of the of experience. Course. And it was, we went to, um, great move. You got, you totally. got to move it out of the daytime into night for, a I, I agree. Daytime ain't it like the night no. I knew, I knew, I, I knew what I had to do. Um, <laughs> So we end up um, meeting at Petit Hermitage, which is Mm, a hotel in West Hollywood. Um, Very low key, no paparazzi. I remember like getting off the elevator and like the doors like opening to this like little rooftop like area. And and Harry Styles is just like sitting at a table for two. And I'm like, (laughs) how old is he at this time? Like 18? Um, so I, I didn't know exactly how old he was, but I figured out real fast when I ordered a drink and he ordered a coffee because he <laughs> was 20. <laughs> <laughs> and then, That's like, not too young though. 20 no, to 24. It's like, yeah. yeah. And enough. I remember like, I remember Jeffrey's assistant being like, oh, he loves older women. And I was like, older women, I'm 24. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> But, you know, he does. He always dates older. That's true. Totally. Which I mean, you know, we love to see it go Harry. Um, mm-hmm. So we, I have my drink. He has his coffee. We like split fries. He's like asking me about my life. And it's like so tender because like, he's so interested in like me and my story, which like, honestly, thank God, because like, what would I have asked him? Like, what's it like to be famous? Like <laughs> everyone loves you. What's going on? You know, like it, it was such a like um, unexpected, but like cute change of pace for him to be so like invested in yeah. like, what was going on with my life. And then um, this will totally like date the story, but he was like, uh-huh. what are you doing after this? And I was like, well, my boss just signed Iggy Azalea and she's playing at the will turn because that was when Iggy was like everything. This is 2014. So I was like, we, ha- I have to go to her show. They want a big CAA presence there. Like, you know, but maybe we can meet up afterwards. And he was like, Oh, okay. Maybe. So he like drops me off at my car. Um, Kate. which like at the time, what? Why didn't you invite him to the concert? I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it didn't really cross my mind that he would want to go see Iggy Azalea. I think he also had a dinner or something that like mm. he had something. I had something like our, our paths were going to diverge at this okay. point. Um, and so he drops me off my car, which the car I was driving at that point was this like beat to shit Volkswagen Jetta 
with like hubcaps missing and like the like side mirror was like would dangle off if you went more than like 10 miles an hour so he was like which car and i'm like um like there's like a range rover in front of him like it's that that general director like it's fine (laughs) i'm like i literally i'm an assistant i I have like negative money um so he drops me off and gives me a kiss and it's like you know it's not like a make out but it's like okay Mm. this is like a formidable kiss so like i get out of the car and i just like start like mass texting everyone in my phone. Like, you know, <laughs> we kissed, we're in love. Oh my God. And then my phone vibrates and it's the Gmail that he's texting me from. And he's oh like, God. oh, would you want to like, you know, have a drink before the show? And I was like, oh, I could be convinced. So he sends me this address and um, uh, he's like, you know, come here, have a drink before the show. So I remember like rolling the windows down and like starting to drive and just like, breathing in the California air and being like, (laughs) you have made it. This is exactly where your life was supposed to go. You're going to marry this man. You're going to quit your job. You have literally made it. This is like the stars are aligning. I'm like, you know, winding up in like the hills. And I'm like, that's crazy. I didn't know there were like bars up here. Turns out it's not a bar. It's a house. So we, I like go to this house and like, um, (laughs) he like opens the door and I walk in and the door doesn't even shut all the way before he like picks me up and like slams me against the wall. And we start like violently making out. Oh Oh my my gosh. This is is a great story. (laughs) It it was like so out of body. I was like, wait, like this is like every 16 year old girl's like wet dream right (laughs) now. Like this is so crazy. So we like, make out we like drink we talk we hang we like kind of roll around but like nothing actually happens because in my mind I'm like I can't do this like I just got this job at CAA I don't know if this is okay I also am probably like never going to hear from him again I also (laughs) am like on my period so like there's just like (laughs) there was a lot of like a lot of barriers, like, you know, a yeah. lot of barriers, a lot of like, like the record scratch noise, but like, like it's happening in my head. And I'm like, just don't like, just not now. So I'm like, Harry, I got to go. I'm like late to the show. Like, let's revisit this in like a week. <laughs> and I'll be like, good to go. So he walks me to the door. I give him a hug. I like walk outside, get in my car. I'm just like, Oh my God. Like, did that really just happen? I'm like screeching tires to the wheel turn to make it to Azalea. I get there. Everybody's like, you totally hooked up with him. And I'm like, no, like I didn't like tampon (laughs) still in. (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, Oh my God. What? Like, that's like, honestly a better story because you didn't. And I'm like, I don't know. Is it? And then some of the, (laughs) some of the other assistants were like, oh my God, well, he's never going to get over you because you didn't. And I'm like, this isn't like a high school jock yeah. Yeah. in a Netflix <laughs> show that we're talking about. This is Harry Styles. He could literally call like Kendall Jenner or like Mara. anybody to come over. Like this is, this is not it. So a quick side note to this story is um, I had a little too much to drink that weekend and I dropped and shattered my phone. <gasps> And so I like go to Verizon, a broken shell of a person oh with a broken God. You're phone. like Harry Styles and is I'm like, me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, help. He might, you know, I don't know. And they're like, well, we see you're still on your parents' plan. If you get your own plan and change your number, we'll give you a free phone. So I changed my number. This <laughs> and is I get so a free upsetting. Phone. <laughs> I'm incredibly upset. <laughs> So I've been telling myself, he's just been relentlessly texting me for the last like, you know, seven years. In reality, I, I don't know if he would recognize me if we bumped into each other on the street. I would hope, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Wait, so you've never heard from him again? He would like come in the office every now and then, you know, and like every assistant would start QCing me like your ex-boyfriend's here. (laughs) And so I would like, you know, I, I remember like bumping into him in the hallway and like giving him a hug and being like, how are you? And he's like, I'm so good. How are you? Like, so sweet, very cordial. Like the way that he is like now is the same that he was then just like a like good natured person who just has like 
an ungodly level of like charisma and charm. And it's just like completely irresistible, but still so like lovable and down to earth. Yeah. Like, wow. I don't yeah. know how you've never told the story. This I, is such a good story. I'm so, so happy. Good. If you ask <laughs> literally on any- <laughs> bachelor. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I told this story oh in the God. house to a bunch of the girls and they were like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> seriously, why would you want to hook up with Clayton when you've hooked up with Harry? Truly. There's like, truly, like this, truly, like, truly opposite energy. Oh my God. This is the most party I felt on Bachelor Party. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, I'm like, this is such a great story. I'm, I'm glad we got the 10 minute version. I, oh I wish god. I was there. I oh like my god. Me too. And I hope I don't get a cease and desist from Harry's legal team. <laughs> 